captains, this is Kent again, and welcome to the flight show. So there's nothing really fancy about what I'm videoing today. I was just doing another flight in the career of my pilot's life. As you know, if you've been following the channel, I now fly for Delta Airlines, and I had a, I had a turn from I forget the other one, Avio, I'm not a, a member of that. 
there's Pilot Edge, which is the pay service, and I'm not a member of, the, of either of those. And why? Because I'm having a complete brain fart. Why the, the one that I'm a member of, and a lot of the community is on, is escaping me, and I'm totally embarrassed by that. But I am certain that everyone knows what I'm, what I'm talking about. And as soon as it pops into my head, I'll uh, you know, say it. But nevertheless, um, here's the issue that I have with the free services. Because the ATC uh, members, it's voluntary. You know, you have to look at the world as, since it's global, if you're in the U.S. and it's 3 in the afternoon, you're probably not going to get a lot of coverage because a lot of people are still at work. So, you might need to be looking over in Europe, which is fine, but since it's voluntary, sometimes, depending on where you want to fly, you've got to fly where there's your traffic controller, where you're starting and when you're ending. And if that distance is too far, uh, far, how many times have I had a flight where I picked two places where there was a controller, and by the time I got where I was going, they said, yeah, I'm signing off, take it, you know, take it easy. And so then I've got to use Unicom, but that's no fun, <laughs> you know? So that's the kind of downside. It's like picking a time where there are controllers, and, you know, when I'm available is when I'm available. It may not be a time that there's a ton of controllers out. Which brings us to Pilot Edge. Um, it's paid for, you know, it's a paid service. They're, depending on which level you're at, you get a larger, you pay for the, the more expensive model has a greater coverage. It's like all of California, I think it goes all the way up to Seattle and all the way over to Denver. If you have the, the most expensive package, I have to check it out. I haven't looked at it in a while. But let's just even say that you have that. Okay, that's great, because they have a person who's paid to be there, and you've got coverage, you know, whenever you choose to fly, but it's paid. So the question is, does that fit in your rates? budget? Uh, Medium. Uh, so we're going to throw our checklists. And we are, yeah, our descent is doing well, so I'm, I'm really good, happy about this. So all this is to say, it's like, you know, can you afford... Uh, does it fit in your budget to um, be on Pilot Edge? And so those are the things that you have to weigh. Plus, you're limited to the Western, the uh, Western and Mountain United States. So there's a, advantages and disadvantages to the entire thing. Uh, just a little like discussion as to why I haven't committed to Pilot Edge yet, and I want to. Because at least, you know, especially when it comes to making videos, it might be worth the investment. Set. I don't know. But we gotta get to work, because we're landing. Okay, we are spent our speed is leading off, which is good. Now our speed our design speed for this particular Flying on Great Creek, so we should be 230 by 8,000. So that looks good. Looks like we're about to drop down into the soup. Oh, those clouds look beautiful. Aha! See a little bit of the ground down there. Forgive me that I got a little quiet. Sometimes I just take in everything and I just start concentrating and I don't realize I'm not even talking. So, <coughs> excuse me, forgive me for that. 
but you know, while uh, you know we're on our descent, and I have a moment to say, now, essentially, what we are doing is turning. Um, we're turning to our downwind, uh, so that's good. Just checking my notes here, sorry about that. Like I said, I don't multitask too well, so darn it. <laughs> yeah, okay, sorry. So we're, for this particular star, we're essentially turning onto our downwind, which is in a heading of 300 uh, degrees. And our approach is going to kick in in just a moment. See that? Traffic. Did you see right there? That was traffic. traffic. Oh my gosh. Yeah, there you go. Climb. 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 You're out of the way. Come on, ATC. Pick these guys around me. Climb. Climb now. Climb. Climb now. Descend. Descend now. Good. Descend. Descend now. Trigger of traffic. Conflict. Traffic. <laughs> I need y'all to get a gun. Which is why. When you're in the cockpit, you always got your eyes on a swivel. You're looking at your instruments, you're looking out of the aircraft, because you just never know. All right. We are looking good. Oh, I think I remember what I was about to say. I got a little bit distracted. I wanted to take this time, uh, since we have a brief moment, to just really, really thank all of you that tune in to the channel. Um, I have taken it for granted um, just how incredible it is that I have, like, I think now... Approach checklist. 1,800 followers. Detailed status. That's not true. Checked. And I know I'm tables. not up there with Google or with Matt Davies in Stowed. terms of uh, total number of followers. Checked. But... Enough accuracy. Check. Even. Barrel reference. Even. Being checked. You know, have a thousand. Zero. Zero. Seven. It's just incredible. Zero. Zero. You know, because that's not trivial. Exterior light. Um, so I just wanted to say thank you. Set that's on. Flying. I'm going to have to start trying to do things to show Speed my appreciation. One. I definitely don't want to take it for granted. Flight attendants, prepare for landing. Um, so I gotta get back to paying attention to checklists because not only are they doing it automatically, but I need to know what's going on. But again, thanks everybody. I hope you enjoy it. I still enjoy your suggestions as to what you should try, what I should be doing in terms of approach or what have you. Now somebody just said you should do this in X plane. I'm really not an X plane guy. I think that the <coughs> DPR materials gives it a very unique look. <coughs> but after so many years of being used to the keys and control functions of the uh, uh, ex uh, prepared flight simulator explain sometimes strikes me as a bit odd um, sure I can sit down and learn it and I'm gonna probably buy it at least so I can have some experience with it but like I said there are only so many hours in the day um, but that's kind of my take on it it's not that I hate non um, okay, I'm gonna give it a flap one uh, it's not that I want to hate on uh, I'm not hating on x -Plane. I'm really not. Speed check. Flaps three. Um, it's just, you know, this is what I've been flying with and I'm comfortable. It took me a while to move from prepared from Flight Simulator 10, so, you know. But alright, let's get on the ball. we got things to do. Alright. Uh, one. Okay, we're at Flaps 2. All right, we are now on vectors, and soon we're going to turn on Zesty. We will level out at 4,000 feet. One thousand. We just want to come in at a good 45 degree angle onto our final. Oh my gosh, that looks beautiful. Flaps three. 
flaps full? I did not want full. I wonder why... I gotta ch maybe choose a different key. Flaps full? Oh, it's making it full. Got it. Flaps full? Making it full. At this particular speed. I get it. Alright, we're gonna now fly direct to Zesty. A little thick in here. All right, and we're going to bring this down to. No, you do not. No, no, you do not descend yet because we have to stay at four thousand. So keep that going. Auto throttle doing their thing, though I personally would change this to be a little bit faster uh, because as it's come over here, approach. Wow. This is what we're assigned. I just think would come in a little bit faster. But okay, that's I'll go with it. Now we will drop. Uh, landing gear as soon as we turn on to the final. So far everything's looking good. I can't complain. Since what I do enjoy about um, Airbus, because I never flew Airbuses until like two or three years ago. And so it's such a dramatic departure from uh, Boeing's that I was reluctant to pick them up because it's a whole, it was something to learn all the systems of a Boeing 737. Um, so when I started to, the assisted co-pilot made it a whole lot easier because it could go to the systems because I didn't know where they were, you know, so on and so forth. And I already told you how time is a, you know, a factor here. So I've enjoyed the fact that it does have that, you know, co-pilot feature so, so that you can learn. Now that I, now that they have, um, uh, FS crew for this aircraft, uh, it gives me an opportunity to learn the systems and, uh, and do them myself, like you would use FS crew for the 747, 777, or 737. So I'm looking forward to getting that and actually doing this so that I wouldn't use the automatic uh, co-pilot. Though the FS crew helps you, but the automatic co-pilot, they do everything. I think you can, you can adjust how much they do. I don't remember. Uh, yeah, I think you can. Uh, but they're just doing everything, and I just manage the systems, make sure that the uh, navigation is proper, and fly the aircraft. And that's made it easier to get into the Airbus, considering the time that I have available. But all right, we are almost, we are almost about to descend, so that's cool. I am not crazy about that angle of attack at this altitude, but be it that we're about to descend, that's like, why change it, because you're going to just drop right back down in a minute anyway. But okay. Oh, and the approach is alive. And it's active. It's active and alive. <laughs> so that's cool. This is all going to go well. Right. Wait for it. Remember that line in Star Wars? Stay on target. No, I'm just kidding. All right. Now we're turning, so we should be seeing. Aha! Great. Localizer I'm gonna hit approach. So we'll have the localizer and the glide slope. Glide slope. Gear down. Action. Gear down.
localizer and we're at 3,000 feet, which is the missed approach altitude, so we already have that assigned. We are now descending on the glide slope. We are aligned with the localizer. We are at the proper speed. We are looking good. There's our speed there. You know what? I'm going to delete the one that was just before that, that, that scene. Because I'd, I'd rather be closer. I'm going to have to delete that. But I, okay, everything is looking good. Two thousand five hundred. All right, we're about to pass Kins. Right, we have. Now, this was the uh, runway that was assigned when I took the flight, but since I'm using real-world weather, I am 90% certain this is not the right runway, but we're just going to stick it out. Why? Because I have an 11 knot tailwind. I'm just being, you know, completely honest. So, Landing I have checklist. a funny feeling, and it's like, Landing wow. Here. <laughs> Down and locked, three greens, like almost Ground directly spoilers. behind us. Checked and armed. Auto brakes. Medium. Exterior but lights. I'm looking at my radar on, on my, uh, Go around on my, uh, checked. Electronic, Landing electronic flight bag. There's no checked, oncoming traffic no blue. on this runway, so checked that's cool. Complete. But what I do see is that there's one coming on runway 35. They're di diagonals to each other. And just judging by it, would you know it? It looks like we're going to reach it simultaneously. Lord. Speed. Speed. Well, give me some speed. We're on auto throttle. What are you doing? Give me some juice. Alright. We're a little above. A little above. Glide slope. Speed. Speed. One thousand. All right. We're approaching minimums, but I think, yep, I see runway lights. Excellent. Pilot off. Four hundred. Speed. Give Speed. me some. Three hundred. Hundred above. Two hundred. There we go. Minimum. That's what I was going to One hundred. APU on. Excellent. After landing checklist. After landing checklist. Exterior lights. 
Set off. Ground spoilers. Set off. Engine mode selector. Check normal. Flat. Check retracted. TCAS. Set. Brake temperature. Checked. APU. On. Weather radar. Power supply. Wind shear. Both off. Checklist complete. Okay, we are going to go to the stand G11. A little hairy there. Bring up flaps. Heck? I don't know what that was about. Alright, here we go. Yes, I need to get my tracker uh, IR working. It's not. I'll leave it at that. Tell me to come over. Bringing me in. At four knots. That's sweet. Point three to the knot. That's great. And stop. Parking brakes, shut down. Okay, that was for, that was for, uh, a pilot's life. All right. A little far out, but they said stop. But, you know, have to run the, uh, updater for, uh, GSX, see if they can align that. Um, operate jetways. Confirm that out, and we want to request boarding. Doors, cargo, front left. We don't even use that back door. I don't even know why. They, I know there are places that use both the rear and front exits, but that is not. Well, let me not say that that's not the majority because I only so many places around the world. But in the United States, we just don't do it. Uh, not that any flight that I've been on. But okay. So now we are boarding. We have. Finally, come on our destination uh, of Minneapolis, St. Paul. So it wasn't not a bad approach, not bad. It could have been a little better, but it was definitely not one of my mistake-riddled approaches. So I'm really excited about that. Let's just take a quick look at a pilot's life. I do recommend it, as you tell, as you've seen in the past. I, ha I highly recommend it. It helps you know where to fly because you could sit there. I've had times where I was sitting here for two hours, going back and forth on where I'm going to fly, ended up flying nowhere. So. Um, just finished the last flight, which was from, uh, where is it? These are in order, are they not? Not alphabetical, uh, but from what you've flown. So I should see it, but I don't. Okay, well, we'll leave it alone. Wait a minute. LaGuardia, it's not, it didn't advance it. What's the problem? Let's take a look. Why are you still there? We're at our destination. Hmm. I'm gonna have to fix. 
you know, I wonder, do I need to actually be closer to this? Because normally it immediately updates the moment that you put your... Oh, wait. I don't know. I'm not entirely sure why it didn't update. I'll have to figure that out. But anyway, we're not going to worry about it. We made it here. I'm happy. So, thanks for tuning into the channel. Really appreciate you. Uh, look forward to posting another flight this weekend. And so, I look forward to seeing you. Hey, ooh, like and subscribe. I look forward to seeing you in the front in the uh, virtual skies. Bye-bye.